James, welcome to Bristol Rovers. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, really excited to be here. You join us from a team that's won the title, and now you're staying in League One. Tell us about your thinking behind that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why it, it, it didn't work out the way it did at Plymouth, but um, I'm really excited to get going, and um, it's a great club to be at. Yeah. I suspect one of the main reasons is that you're a bit of a local boy. Definitely, yeah. I've got a lot of friends and family around the area. Um, not too far away, so it was, a, it was a massive pulling point. But it wasn't really that. It's always been about football decisions in my career, and um, yeah, this is definitely a football decision. And what were some of those football decisions that have seen you come to Bristol Rovers, James? Well, obviously, I know loads about the fan base. Every time I've played at Bristol, it's always been a really tough, um, tough game, and um, uh, the management obviously got a lot of good um, people around the club. And um, the players, I've, I've noticed when we played them this season, they've got some really talented players. So um, hopefully I can add to that. Rovers fans will remember you playing in the 2-2 draw at the Mem last season. It was a cracking game. Can you remember much about it? Yeah, I do remember everything about it. It was a, it was a really good first half from us, performance-wise. And then um, second half was a completely different game, I think. We were lucky to get the, get the point at the end of the game. We were happy to take away the point. And I think that this this season at the Mem is going to be um, that's going to be a major thing in getting our home form really good, and um, the fans can help that massively. And it's a, quite an intimidating place, I think, for visiting players, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is definitely, and um, the atmosphere is always great. So I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, last season Plymouth also made it to the final of the Papa John's Trophy. And their first trip to Wembley for you? First trip, yeah, and it was an incredible experience. Um, so that competition can be a real positive, I think. Um, we used the whole squad all the way through the competition and the final was really disappointing, the result-wise, but the whole, the whole experience was incredible, so it um, could be worth doing, definitely. You signed a two-year deal at Rovers. What are you hoping to achieve in that time? Um, similar to when I first went to Plymouth, I think. Um, we had a, a team that just come up from League Two, or the year before, had, and um, they had one good season. In, uh, in the league and then kicked on from there really. I think um, there's no reason why we can't be in amongst it this season with the teams and the, the players in the squad. So yeah, I think a promotion at the end of the day will be, it would be massive for the club obviously. And um, it's, it's definitely not out of our sight. You're a centre back. For any Rovers fans that haven't seen you play, what strengths are you going to bring to that position for us? Um, I'd say I read the game quite well. Obviously I'm quite experienced, so that probably comes with that. Um, I'm aggressive and uh, yeah, I enjoy defending, which is the main thing. So um, yeah, hopefully I can bring them qualities to the, to the team. Would you say you've modelled your game anyone or any favourite players when you were younger, James? Uh, I used to love watching Rio and um, Vidic play together. Um, so I guess I guess them two predominantly. But um, yeah, I think you find your own way and you find your own way of playing over your career. Obviously, tasting promotion last season is that. You get a taste for it. Are you hoping to achieve something similar here? Yeah, of course. That's got to, that's got to be the aim. Um, and uh, obviously, the supporters want that as well. But it's it's got to be an aim within the squad. And I think if everyone's pulling in the right direction, there's no reason why we can't achieve something similar. And because you know what it takes to get out of League One, is there like a magic ingredient or something something that Rovers fans are going to look forward to um, seeing in, in in your game? I don't think there's a magic ingredient, no. I think um, it's all, all to do with hard work and everyone pulling in the right direction. I think um, the squad's massive. It, it takes everyone in the squad. I know it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to take some boys that don't play a lot, but it really does take everyone being on the same page and um, everyone pulling in the same direction.